Hi, welcome to the Lattice Developers Conference. In this demonstration here, we're showing the sensor hub with a sensor fusion processing. So what we have here is a camera, a classic rotating LiDAR, a solid state LiDAR, and a radar. We're combining the signals from all of these together and doing all of the processing of those signals in synchronization on a lattice development board. And what you can see here is the output of this uh, uh, design. So on the upper left hand side is the camera and we're running AI to identify humans and put a bounding box around the humans and show the distance away uh, from, the, from the sensor. On the right hand side, this is the output of the LiDAR that shows the depth information. On the lower left, kind of behind here, you can see the, the raw radar Doppler. And then on the lower right, what we have is a plot of the X, Y coordinates of the radar output merged with a circle that superimposes over the human that is in a field of view. So we can combine the camera with the radar to get a confidence of what's in the picture. All of this is done together on an Avant development kit and the total power dissipation is roughly around a half a watt. It's also kind of ready to go over a robotic uh, node system into a ROS2 kind of uh, implementation. So that's the demo for the sensor hub. And next to it, what we can show here is a, we have a, above here a camera and we have a robot arm. And what we're going to do is place an object down there and through the camera, the robot will know where it is and be able to pick it up and grab it and move it. And over here we have a radar. The radar will detect if there's something in the way and stop the robotic movement. So you can't uh, say an arm goes, a uh, hand goes in there, you can't accidentally hit it. So it's for a safety function. And we're doing the camera and radar processing and the FPGA, and we're controlling the robot with a Raspberry Pi processor. So let's take this, place it here. I'll take another one, place it here. My hand is in the way, so it stops. And then it can proceed. Uh, this is also done on Avant and the communication between the FPGA and the uh, CPU is over PCI Express.